Okay, hello, Korpi Forest here again at Turku and uh, on a log and also a little uh, on, on the stones or rocks this time. Um, uh, and we are in Turku in uh, Oriketo. This is all already a quite um, a familiar place to you who have uh, been checking our uh, videos before. And um, today we have um, uh, people that are not bold. So <laughs> we, we have bold, but not bold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true. Not yet. Yeah. And uh, very um, bold. Yeah. And um, uh, today uh, it's an it's an honor to here to uh, be with. Um, uh, Ricardo, uh, Rui, and uh, Yuki. So welcome. Thank and you. and uh, this is our uh, like um, uh, this is uh, what is this final um, what is this a sign off or uh, like after party or <laughs> <laughs> of uh, our uh, this um, uh, project Aces where uh, we had a very nice chance. Uh, to work, uh, work with, with you all. Uh, there's also um, some, um, some of us that uh, couldn't come here, uh, like um, Melissa, uh, Paulina, and Hendrik was supposed to be with us uh, via video. So uh, we'll add it on later. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which will probably not happen. But uh, anyway, <laughs> so, uh, sorry, Hendrik, we, we forgot this, and this is one one shots only. <laughs> but uh, you are uh, with us uh, uh, in, in this. Um, what is in it? our hearts? Yeah, our hearts and our um, mental states. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so. Uh, Project ACES, uh, who wants to uh, tell what Project ACES is? Well, I can. <coughs> you can. I can start. So Project yeah. ACES is a, a, a program from the University of Turku, and I guess uh, University of Applied Sciences in Turku as well, and Open Academy, where uh, uh, companies and organizations can uh, look for uh, students to work on uh, projects which take two months time so in the beginning of uh, or in the end of winter or in February somehow, somehow uh, we were approached by uh, or we saw this adver advert by the University of Turku where they said that if you have a company who has some sort of project that uh, that students can and could work on please contact and we'll find you a great team and, uh, that's that's how what, that's our perspective of how, how things started and as um, as you know watchers mm -hmm. <laughs> viewers that uh, that I also work at the University of Turku so I had heard from my colleagues that uh, students enjoy this course and there are good results and I thought that when I saw Susanna's uh, email where she advertised this I thought hey this might be something nice for us as well but that's uh, I also thought a bit more about it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, one thing was uh, um, I remember in the beginning was very nice. Susanna asked uh, that uh, if we could, uh, you know, uh, have people uh, who uh, are from different countries, and if we could do this in English. So uh, uh, we were straight from there. We were like, yes, and uh, I'm very glad we did it. I'm very glad for it because it, it, it gives uh, more perspectives and diversity. And uh, did you have some the next line? Yeah. So, so I think that we could before we go in actually what what did we all do on, in the project? I think we could start with uh, uh, that you that are here now. You could uh, briefly just tell who you are, where you come from, what you do, and also why did you become interested in of the project basis project and, and and why did you become interested in about our case? How did it go that you ended up in our team? Yeah, yeah, we do, we don't actually know. Do we? I guess. Not. Yeah. 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 
early then. It's me who starts. Hi, my name is Ricardo. I'm from Germany. And uh, so this is my exchange semester for the first half of this year, which was kind of an interesting one, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the reason why I took part in uh, Project ACES, or at least why I applied for it, was actually funny because I just found out the day before the deadline of being able to applying because I was in the, uh, was in the cafeteria and there I just saw this advertisement about it and it was like, oh that's a great opportunity because I didn't know mm. beforehand and I personally really love the idea because in, back in Germany we do actually have in the city I come from, Marburg, right in the center of Germany, this is a place where there's also some sort of project going on that has like the same goal to help students get a better insight into the industry, to get next to the theoretical part they obviously learn in university, mm. to get this practical sets and uh, insights into companies, into the work life itself, and that is something I really appreciate and I really think is like the best opportunity. If you have it, you should use it, you should take advantage of it because this helps so much to to just also make you see what it is you want to do, where do you want to, where do you want to end up eventually in working life, mm. but also where actually are your your sets, where are you, where are you strong at, and mm. this is something that really helped me shape that a bit further. So this is something I'm really I really appreciate about this project and also about this group. I was lucky to be to be part of and the reason why I chose Corpy Forest was I really love the idea in general so this this idea of a working life so this also like the focus on this kind of intense work where you do need like those breaks those moments where you can just shut off your head and be like completely in the outside and this like literally in the mm. forest mm. so and to take that into account and take that into the office that was an idea I really really liked and I'm, I'm a fan of nature and that was also when I thought oh this is like the best way how funny that I see that combined in one place in one company in one idea in a mm. startup and so this was the reason why I wanted to be part of this project and also because I personally want to get into that direction further like about well-being in the working environment help people to get a better feeling for themselves what they need in a company how just to feel better because mm -hmm. that just makes you more productive that mm -hmm. helps you to make the work you're doing even better and so it's just like it's the best benefit for a company if you really take focus on your employees and in this case about the well-being which is the most important part so that was I guess the reason why I personally wanted to take part in this journey and yeah I, I think I'm really glad that I did I, I learned a lot and it is a great experience it's fun now of course it was a bit different because mm. this is the first time actually yeah. we're yeah. seeing each other in person. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so that was also a hurdle but also some way of learning and achieving this and seeing how remote work mm. for such a scenario mm. also mm. can work. Yeah. I guess I, I, I hope I answered all the questions. Yeah, yeah you did. Okay. One, one question, uh, what do you study? What oh yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> Yeah, true. It's uh, it's it for this campaign. It was quite fitting because I study media, media and cultural practices in general. So also like the idea of media, which was kind of beneficial, obviously. But for me personally, my idea is to use most of this knowledge for cultural practices. So to actually be able to see then in this international. Okay. Ensemble, obviously, I mean, mm. all of us are mm. <laughs> mostly from different places, and mm. this is something I really enjoy and see the benefits of this multidisciplinary because mm. all of us also have other backgrounds and then multicultural mm. to get like the best out of everything, combine it and have it in a group. And so, this is also what I hope I will be able to enjoy later on as a work. Yeah, I guess no. No, 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 no. <laughs>
very good. Okay, maybe I go next. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so hello, I'm Yuki uh, from Japan. I'm a first year student at the University of Turku at International Master's Program. My major is Future Studies. So the reason I, I took this project ACES is that the, I believe that the, I could uh, experience the working life in Finland. Yeah, before coming to Turku, I had worked in Japan a very long time for uh, like uh, 20 years. But uh, I had never studied or worked at all, so I thought that the project basis would give me a really good opportunity to experience the working life of such a time. And also, for, for my entire career, I was in the ICT industry, computer and technology staff. So I wanted to also experience our other disciplines. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Uh, so the battery ran out. Uh, this is startup life. Yeah. So my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is Rui from China. I'm also an exchange student uh, here in Dolkun University, and my major is business administration. And as Ricardo just said, uh, he almost missed the application for this project. But for me, I, I missed the application of the project but and the interview was going at that time but i still write an email to susanna our coach to try my best to get the opportunity because i think it's a really good opportunity uh, for our students to get some work experience mm -hmm. and i think i'm very lucky i finally get in the project and and officially work with Copy Forest, which I think is a very good company. I really love the idea that uh, combine high technology virtual reality with Forest and can actually bring well-being to employees. As I said, I'm from Shenzhen. Shenzhen is a very big city, and it's like uh, the other city, Hong Kong, Shanghai in China. So people there was. I can tell they are very stressful uh, from their no matter work life or study life. One, my best friend have a very severe depression mm. because of it, and I feel like that I didn't know what's the best solution to release this uh, very popular uh, stress among young people. Mm. I mean, I know that this company they have uh, maybe they will provide some refreshment or set some rest area in the company for their employee, but I don't think that's the best solution. It's only physically, never mentally. Mm. And from where I can, I actually never been to a forest. <laughs> it must sound crazy for Finnish people, but yeah, that's the truth. Mm. Also, as the development uh, of the cities, they are less and less natural place that people can go uh, in their spare time okay so i really love the idea of this project i mean uh high technology are supposed to bring a better life for people right? yeah. Yeah, so i feel really lucky and i really appreciate that copy forest give me this chance to be part of this great project and that's pretty much it yeah thank you thank you very nice to hear this from everyone of you. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I think it's, it was nice, you know, because uh, we never talked about this because we mm. were so intense to the work. Mm. So it's now uh, like a, uh, we know you uh, a bit deeper, a bit mm. better. Mm. Very nice. So um, the project ACES, um, from uh, our point of view, uh, we, we started to, to we had a, a thought that uh, we would uh, want like um, was it like a social media uh, strategy mm. and and some content uh, with it and and that that was the first thought mm. that we uh, came up with you mm. and and, and, and uh, from there we started uh, our uh, uh, our journey mm. together which now lasted for two months mm. so and and, and uh, um, I was thinking that um, we we had a thought that we shared with you, and then we started uh, to put it uh, in action. We 
we did a, a agenda and and uh, uh, and uh, how did it w go? Uh, we so we 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 we, we. Uh, basically. I'm not sure what you're, where you're going, to, but <laughs> don't worry. Uh, so basically, the the idea that what like Sampo said that from early on we wanted to emphasize this kind of the, the building the brand and and uh, build, building market the base for our marketing uh, from, from the from the start but uh, it has been since we're none of us are an expert in that so it's been more of this kind of ad hoc kind of doing and then we thought that it would be nice to have people from outside of our company to come in with fresh minds and, and help us to come up with uh, something that we can work uh, on further so so we ended up uh, starting to work with you guys on a content marketing kind of strategy idea where we then uh, uh, asked that uh, you provide you'd make content for us and and also on uh, how, how should this content be uh, utilized and and uh, for our brand building yeah and, and, and we we came up with this that, that, that uh, there's six of you and uh, we were uh, divided into three groups yeah. so the, or two pairs I mean uh, three pairs yes. yeah and uh, did uh, Everybody, uh, was it that everybody chose what they did, or uh, did we have an idea that we would like this kind of? I can't remember or how it went. Uh, how did you organize yourself? Yeah. <laughs> we, I, if I remember correctly, it was, yeah, at the beginning it was mostly about this first of all, finding the idea mm. what do we want to do, where mm. do we want to get, mm. what is the aim, what is the goal, and so we started with this project campaign where mm. it was okay, we need content and we need an idea how to get that content to the audience mm. we you aim at mm. and so I guess there was the general then distribution between okay what can we do so mm. there was then the podcast was one thing mm. and I guess then also just like this brainstorming mm. we had blog posts which mm. is also a great thing to just spread an idea or get mm. a better image of something and then obviously like like this is going to be videos <laughs> like also like in a, in a picture you can have 1000 and even more words and so best way to describe a brand to get this image across in a video and so we created we had those three like big <coughs> parts and then if I remember correctly we, we decided on quite independently so yes, who is so. most interested in which part and that worked out quite fine because it was lucky that mm -hmm. two were eagerly involved or interested in one of each mm -hmm. so that there was no no there was no discussion I guess if I remember correctly there was no discussion about no quarrels and, 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 and yeah, fights it, so. <laughs> it went quite smoothly yeah, yeah. So that was very nice and, and, and um, uh, I think uh, from the beginning of this uh, uh, as, uh, as I, I feel that there has been a, like a good vibes on doing this it's been very uh, like the easy and uh, professional uh, with w working with you yeah and, and, and uh, like uh, like you said uh, you, you independently took that's that's one one big thing that uh, we, we, we we met like um, uh, in the beginning like once a week mm -hmm. and and then we met uh, like uh, once in two weeks or something like that and 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 we just have it had it you know check up where each one of, uh, of you is going and what's in our mind so it, it, it went very smoothly on that way yeah. too mm -hmm. I think that was a uh, very nice that uh, we didn't have to put like a too much effort on it. I, I think that was one thing like yeah. that, that we were, were pros working. Yeah. Right, and uh, regarding that, I appreciate your support as well. Okay. Because if you guys are, uh, for example, too micromanagement type, mm. we might be really are feeling tight and mm. we might be scared to work with you, but uh, you had a face on each of us and mm. uh, yeah. uh, let us work freely. So mm. it was really something. Yeah. That's true. Okay. 
good that it worked because uh, that's uh, like uh, I was going to say also the same thing that what Sampo said that it was nice to realize that you were uh, you uh, managed to work in a team in a proactive manner and and like already from the beginning that that we got the idea that uh, this kind of working in weekly sprints and it works easily and we don't have to worry about what's going on and, and so it just like Sampo said I think it was very good and one thing that was a very positive end result or kind of because uh, like uh, I think we talked uh, also together about this uh, but one thing that I thought that it might be very hard for and it probably was but very very hard for you guys to uh, since uh, creating content on a topic you have to know something about the topic and get get a per perspective around it but but uh, so I thought that because it be, it's been hard for us to come up with content or come up come up for the time to, to build the content but in, in the end uh, the stuff that you came up with it was very good and very u utilizable and definitely like our goal was that we after these two months we have a we have like kind of a, a plan for us and also examples for ourselves mm -hmm. to work on and get the, get this kind of series or whatever going on so definitely that 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 end came out now it's yeah yeah so it's i think it was surprisingly because maybe i was pessimistic or <laughs> or reflecting on my own abilities <laughs> so so that's why it was surprising that it was nice content and very utilizable and uh, let's say in a way that it uh, at least it, it in, encourages me to in the future also work with like other people in content creating like not uh, that it, it's not something that we only can do in a way but we can have different kind of uh, settings where, where we do uh, different kind of content with, with uh, people not uh, not in the core team so that's uh, I'm really glad we took this chance yeah, yeah. me too I'm, I'm, I'm also very very happy for, for the mm -hmm. for the whole process and and, and, the, and, and the end result so, so it's been a, it's a nice journey this one um, um, maybe a, a word or two the, on on the contents mm -hmm. we were uh, you were working with mm -hmm. uh, you wanna uh, so we have now uh, you worked in Paris yes yeah, yes, yeah. Exactly. So, so. I worked with Pauline you worked with Pauline and then there is uh, Hendrik and Melissa work, work yeah. together mm -hmm. so um, um, shall we um, uh, and if you want to start or um, tell just in a few words that what you were working on. Yeah, okay. Me and Ponina we create a blog text for Kobe Forest. And my part was more fact based and her part is more uh, more funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a fun way. And as I uh, so like because I need to Back again with the commercials and yeah, <laughs> no, 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 now no, going on. So yeah, it was about our idea to get started by just using this basic information of Corby Forest and trying to create images that will get exactly that point across. So Yuki and I, we sat together, remotely obviously, <laughs> due to Corona, and just brainstorm just wrote down everything that came up in came up in our came up in our minds and created some small scripts some doodles and that sounds and at the end we presented them to you and you picked your favorites out of them which were mostly the ideas you created which were great so it was like a, a beautiful thing so I, I of course personally I was a bit sad about that, <laughs> having the ideas picked but it's <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's true. The image, and that's also kind of nice to see like this basic idea, basic image mm. is international. Mm. And so that was also important for us to mm. get the idea we want something created that can be seen and understood internationally. So it is this one video that can be used like for broad audience mm. and gets the same and the exact image called before it wants people to understand, to see about their brand. And this was the idea in general behind that. And so you picked your favorites. Mm -hmm. We we you tried to get them even more smoothly into the context that we wanted to see. And then we got to the agencies and looked for agencies to find the one that 
will create exactly this idea for us, for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at the, at the end, yeah, that's where we where we're still standing or where we are at because sadly two months is not that much of time yeah. Yeah. and that obviously sh was shown again and due to corona there was no possibility to create those concepts earlier yeah. than just like on board as yeah. a script. Yeah. 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 You want to say something? Or? And, and then, then we have the, the uh, third pair, uh, Melissa and Henrik, and um, uh, they did, uh, um, what is this, uh, interviews? Yeah, interviews uh, with a couple of um, uh, people who uh, work in a way or another in, uh, in this uh, sector, in the uh, work well-being, I mean the well-being of the mind in, in uh, workplaces. And uh, we also got from there two, uh, yeah, two interviews. So uh, we have like uh, six uh, contents, yeah. And uh, now we're going to um, start uh, implementing them and uh, taking them uh, through our social media. We we have not yet. Uh, Most likely, we'll put the first uh, content uh, on uh, this month. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, and, and, and uh, so then, then we have uh, we have this. Uh, we have to see uh, on what we get from the agencies, uh, yes. how they react. But we have uh, four uh, already uh, final contents, and then we just check out uh, this one that we get. We get back on air too. Yeah. So uh, this was probably in a nutshell. Uh, what? Uh, in a quite big <laughs> nutshell. <laughs> what what uh, uh, Project Aces was, and and, and uh, how it uh, went and uh, how, how it ended. And, and, and like uh, like we said before, I'm uh, very glad. I'm very glad, I'm very happy that you took part mm -hmm. and that uh, we had this uh, uh, journey together yes. because uh, it's, it's been very fulfilling. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you too. Thanks for the trust, yes. thanks for the, um, for the possibility to take part in it and be so, so free to actually work on that. So that was great to have the possibility to be as creative as we I guess all of us mm. were, were able to just put all into. Yeah, yeah. I I believe um, uh, that uh, when uh, you uh, when you give and you tr uh, when you give the chance and you gi uh, give the trust to a person, uh, there is always uh, a diamond inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great to take away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But okay. Um, anyone wants to say anything? <laughs> nope. <laughs> or the best of luck for you for the future being, obviously. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I guess we all will keep an eye on this. <laughs> Company. <laughs> yeah, please do. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and that's it. if you can, you are free to spread the word. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Obviously. Okay. Yeah. And and uh, we don't know what the world b brings uh, mm. tomorrow mm. or the day after. Mm. We, we we in some project. Yeah. Again. Or working together. You never know. Yeah, that Very is nice. nice. Yeah. Okay, this was it. Today, we thank you, we thank the viewers, and we thank the forest. <laughs> Bye. Thank Bye. 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 <laughs> no,
dreams become cold. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems like a perfect time. Yes. <laughs>